I reacted to my first 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. It was cool to look back and react to it. And now I'm going to react to the 200 days one, which I, I cannot remember what I did. But yeah, let's just watch this epic intro. They're always really cool, these intros. I like Surviving them. 200 days in Minecraft hardcore. Oh, doesn't, doesn't the music just get you immersed? Oh, it's like a trailer. <laughs> That's all I always want my videos. I want the intro to always be so epic that people want to watch the rest of the video. I already survived 100 days beating all three bosses, getting full prop 4 netherite armor, and getting unlimited emeralds. But now, the challenge is to survive 200 days and see just how much I can achieve. If I die once, the challenge is over and the well, world died. is deleted forever. As usual, there were a few times where I did nearly die yep. and only just survived. Oh my goodness. I spent over 30 I hours forgot about these on moments. this video and on my channel I do lots of hardcore Minecraft. So if you could take a second to subscribe, that Go would on. be amazing. Farm those subscribers. <laughs> and you can always change your mind later. I remember, I, this is really random. I remember making this intro. Getting those a clip of all those guys doing the dance took forever. I, I, it was the worst thing to make it. I was like, I'll be cool, you know, if, I, if I'm like, oh, watch from Dadson, then that'll make you want to subscribe. I, I don't know if did it work. I guess some people subscribe from it. With all that said, this is the story of how I survived 200 days in hardcore Minecraft. Here we go. The story of 200 so here days. Here we go again. Day 101 on our way to 200. And one of the first things I want to do is get myself a cartographer. The world looks so different, doesn't it, as well? Like, like look at it. It's, it's so weird. Like, I remember having the nether portal there and stuff, but it looks... Completely different. On our way to 200. And one of the first things I want to do is get myself a cartographer. And to make that, we're going to go ahead. Oh, is it Woodland Mansion? I don't even Let's think I had a totem. I, I, to yeah, I'd, I'd never got a totem in this world. I survived the first 100 days without a totem. Now, totems are a staple. I didn't even know how to make a raid farm before. Uh, you good, sir, will be my cartographer. If I create a compass and a load of glass panes, I should be able to upgrade this guy to the max level. I don't know if it makes it max game, level. Uh, it does give me a Woodland Explorer map. Look at that golem offering a puppy, eh? Very, yeah, very kind. I'm gonna be honest, SP. I didn't mean to do that. Don't feel like I'm very high energy at this point. I feel like I think I've recorded a load of 100 days stuff and, and, and I wasn't seasoned and used to recording loads and loads of them, so I'm looking a bit tired at the moment. <laughs> Don't be like that, SP. But obviously, we're, we're gonna fly. It's not gonna take me that long. Yeah, let's get the electric going. Way, a desert and a desert temple. Let's check Now, the desert looks nothing like this. I have completely decimated this desert collecting sand for the netherite beacon, which I never have to do again, thank goodness. But there's over here, top left. Uh, where, near where the day counter is, there's a giant like hole there now. It's a giant perimeter and an EOL farm. It's crazy how much the world changed. I, I really enjoy looking back yeah, at these things. The main thing I want to get from here is. Oh, I didn't even know. Uh, uh, was this a good desert uh, desert protected. pyramid? Protected. <laughs> We're past protection. Not that good. Days. Was there a notch after it? Was pretty there wasn't. But at least the TNT might be handy. I, know, I never bothered with TNT now. It's, it's like uh, it's, it's easier ways to get it. Direction a little bit longer. And here it is coming into view over 8,000 blocks to get here. Oh, you think traveling 8,000 blocks is a lot, young SP. I'll tell you what, this SP had no idea what the limits he was going to push Minecraft to, because 8,000 blocks is, uh, is a short way for me now. <laughs> That's like next door. Yeah, this trying point. to find the entrance. All I can say is thank goodness for the elytra. Here we go. So I know that these are pretty dangerous places. I'm going to have to be careful because it's hardcore. Um, it does make the mobs 10 times more powerful. Although these guys, they, they do half a heart. You know what? I, I take it back. You guys. Wait, they do guys half a heart? I guess I've got good, uh, I had good armor in them. Particularly, the gunpowder is the main thing that I want. Also grab the music disc. I should probably start collecting those. Might as well take some bookcases as well. You, you can never have too many. That's books. true. Always helpful. This is only one thing I really want from this woodland mansion. And that is the totem of undying, which comes from this guy. There we go. That's the first totem in the world, guys. Let's just... The, yeah, the sure very first ever one. That's a special there. moment, isn't it? Down the area. I don't know how to get into it. <laughs> I know, it's interesting, though. Like, I even, even, like, all this time ago, you know, to me, it's fairly recent, really. It was, like, just over, like, a year and a half ago, whatever. And, like, looking back at my videos now, I feel like my videos are even better than they were then, but I thought my videos were amazing back then. It's amazing how, like, I still feel like I'm always improving and, and my style's getting better and better all the time. At least I, I think so. You know, but maybe, maybe you guys don't. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, these, I'm very proud of this series. Blast there as well. There he is. The great, excuse me, you two. I'm trying to make a cinematic moment here. As I was saying, here we go. The big showdown. You think you're vexed. To be honest, I'm actually kind of weak. The vexes do kind of, uh, low-key do a lot of damage. You can run, mate, but yeah, wow, he's actually really running for it. Like, like vexes okay, are probably the way I'm going to die if, uh, if we're anyway, dying this well. Books, this is the place for you. Normally, I'd have to scam a lot of villagers to get this mini book. So this is a this is a much nicer way to do it. Just steal it from the village. Yeah, you can get a lot from that. Or a stronghold. That's the other good way. Number three. And on that note, I think I've got all the totems. I'm getting out of here. I've decided it's just getting too crowded down here with everything. <laughs> I'm going to open this up. Yeah, my little village thing. No, why did why so many golems down there? Ago, infin okay, I did not mind, mean to buy. Yeah, that's what happens when you shift click, ladies and gentlemen. 
you <laughs> you end up with just a load of them. Yeah, I, I made that mistake. I got many of them. I never. I've, I've, I've only ever made one infinity. I think this infinity bow that I make right now is the same bow that I have now, but it is now unrepairable. So at some point, I'm gonna have to craft a new bow in my world. But yeah, back I remembered then. something. Mending an infinity cannot go. On yeah, that's the annoying thing. I can never repair the bow unless I use like an anvil and XP. Now it's too expensive to repair it, so I have to make a new one. But it's annoying. Why can't mending an infinity go on the same thing? I guess it, it would be quite OP, but. I don't know. I'd prefer it if you could. So, um, Why is there so many cakes down here, by the way? <laughs> I forgot I put cakes down there. I can put Feather Falling on my boots and Depth Strider 3. And finally, a Book of Thorns 2 so I can get loads of these. And now I can use the grindstone and all the things I got from the end city. Hey, go on, yeah, good idea, Spee. Whoa! What Why? Thing? Why? That makes me annoyed right now to watch. Where do these creepers come from? It happens so many times. I don't know where they come from. And they just ruin... They're just so... In there. Oh my goodness, what a mess that's made. That almost destroyed me as well. <laughs> couldn't have been oh a worse goodness. place for this creeper to blow up. Anyway, it couldn't. All the books and everything. Get thorn three on my armor. This place is becoming a bit of a. So I don't even have maxed armor at this point. Do I get maxed armor by the end of the video? Gold, just standing doing it. Look, what do I pay you guys for? I brewed some fire. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't bother with creepers. And I decided I'm still living life like a peasant. Look at this diamond. See, this is where diamonds are for peasants came from, because I, I would always be like, I'm living like a peasant. I've still got diamond tools. You know, a peasant has diamond tools. The pros have netherite tools. That is where it all came from, the diamonds of a peasant's thing. And I would always say it every time I was in diamond. I'd be like, oh, look at me being a peasant with a diamond tool. That's where it came from. Not that diamonds themselves are for peasants, but the diamond tools. You're a peasant if you're still using them. That's that's the secret diamond behind tools. it. Who has diamond tools in Minecraft? So we're going to the Nether and we're going. Yeah, but a lot of people joined the series later on and were like, "Oh, SP just doesn't like diamonds." No, I like diamonds, but but if you have diamond tools, you are a peasant because you should have Netherite tools. Hopefully they add Enderite and then uh, and Netherite will be for peasants. Yeah, I could get a new slug. Get the rest <laughs> of the Netherite. And to start off, I'm going to drink some fire resistance, then some well, swiftness. Then. I'm going to see if the pickaxe can keep up with. Little little does SP know that he is going to be finding. Thousands and thousands of ancient debris to make a beacon and he's just there with his, his little. Oh, I need eight pieces. Yeah this. And there we go. We managed to find some. Yeah, I got the first one There we go. We managed to find another piece. <laughs> Do I just say there we go every time I found it? Really make it three. I no. just nearly missed this piece, but I just about found it and it's another two but, I mean strip mining with swiftness is, is a good way like as well. This is the most I should actually it's a bit late now because I've already done it all but when uh, strip mining the tools I should really have taken swiftness. I was just too lazy to brew it, but it would have it would have saved me some time. <laughs> ah well, it's done now. I, I love saying that it's done. I'm Wait, so happy. Huh? Have some more. <laughs> I've done all this crazy mining over here, and yet it's when I'm doing this little strip mine that I happen to find it. It's it's annoying to find ancient debris just from mining though. Like just from strip mining. This like when I make a tunnel that's like ten thousand blocks long, I usually get about a stack, maybe like fifty pieces of ancient debris. That's that's why I tend to go now. Piece of ancient debris that I need, and there's two of them. That's really really good. I'm also going to need magma later on, so I'm going to grab it while I can. Ah gold. yes, magma for the gold farm. Quickly sleep, and now I can begin smelting my netherite. And yes, I'm putting. Let <laughs> I me mean, not go a furnace room yet, ever. Mending on my diamond hoe, and I'm also going to turn it into a netherite one, just because I can afford it. And I now have we go. all netherite tools. And yeah, look at that! I got an achievement for that. The serious dedication one. <laughs> and I got the thing. Serious dedication. I mean, oh man, I still I even say it in the same way all these time later. <laughs> I didn't Finally, know I was going to say like that. Like a fortune netherite pickaxe. Nice. Well, this pickaxe, I can have silk touch. This is a random diamond right there. Still, I made though. a netherite hoe, <laughs> but I didn't make a netherite sword, so we, we've still not got full netherite tools. Are we going back in? Back uh, we're going back in for more ancient debris. And the oh, bench method is, is pretty good, I think. I so quickly. It was like right by where the other ancient debris was. Let's make another ingot. And now I definitely <laughs> have full, full netherite tool. I love how my, my, um, my sword, though, as you can see... If I just uh, very carefully my netherite sword because I accidentally named it one point. Um, <laughs> it's called Diamond Sword One, and it's a netherite sword. And it's and for a long time it was that, and I, I think I have a new sword since then. I don't even know if the Diamond Sword One sword exists somewhere. It probably is in a chest somewhere, but right, so yeah, I, I don't. I'm use now that sword ready anymore. to begin my next project. I spent many many days gathering lots and lots of materials. I'm currently waiting for my iron to finish smelting here as well. There we go. It's now all finished. You're probably wondering what on earth I'll need two stacks of iron for, but. <laughs> All will be revealed. To build this farm, we are going to be going... Is it? Is it gold farm time? Point, you can probably already guess what the farm is going to is be. This, this is the origin of SB... Go oh, look at him. Look at me doing my little fun thing. But this must be the origin of SB737 going above the nether. I don't think I ever did it before. We are going to be so. going to the... That's a special this moment. Point, you can probably already guess what the farm is going to be. Since there's only one type of farm in the nether. Look at you, anyway. hardcore well, SB. He doesn't care. Other type farms, but this is the most common one. So I'm going to put a ladder right here and then... Hold jump, and then when I get to the top of my jump, I need to throw an... Here I am praying that I don't get stuck in the wall. 
That there we have done it so many times now, I know it's safe, now. but... Look at this, we've yeah. arrived. So this right here is the block of bedrock that I want to destroy. So I'm going to start by placing a piston. And because my coordinates are at negative Z, on the negative Z side of this, we're going to place that. Obsidian it's so on this side. it's so much easier now, the method I have now for breaking bedrock. It's, it's directionless, so you can put everything wherever you want. And it works every time. This one doesn't work every time. So it's cool that the bedrock breaking is, is a lot better now. Um, back then, yeah, we had TNT didn't really have over the here, and we're going to methods. place a trap door like that as well. So the plan is. But this, to me, was mind blowing that you could break bedrock at the time. Because this is me learning all the cool things about Minecraft. I it failed though. Time. It doesn't work every time. I don't, it don't work if you don't place it, SP. You I'm muppet. I'm going to pull it off. I'll try and click a bit faster. You need to be clicking so fast. There, there we, we go. go. Clicked it faster. And now when I mine up the this first piston, piece of broke, uh, bedrock no. broken. The bedrock is broken underneath. We've got our way up and down. I feel like I should create a little bit of a pillar so that I can find my way over here. Yeah, good idea. And now I need a nether waste <laughs> <plan>. <laughs> The top of the nether looks way different now, doesn't it, guys? I already know. I've checked before where the nether wastes are, so I know if I go in this direction. I've got the coordinates to the area. This is the perfect spot. So I'm going to build all the way up Here to my site now and make my zombified piglin farm. And I've made it to build high. Okay, so we're at the very, very top. Scary. We're going to mine this. Whole SP, why? Ooh, I had to take my <laughs> But why would I do that? Oh, I, I did have a totem. I did have a totem, so it wasn't it wasn't too stupid. I don't know why I do risky, stupid stuff in my hardcore world, but I suppose I'd, I'd only survived 123 days at this point. Didn't have that much to lose, really, did I? Before you with too many details, I'm just going to get on with building it. I've successfully built this shape, and now so I this need is to kind of the, the, the time before I use replay mod in my world, so I could do like cool replays, cool shots of me building stuff. I just kind of just did it, just did the cuts, just built, and that was uh, that was it. But I think I definitely prefer now that like having the replay mod, uh, the replays look really cool. Was the magma answers. blocks? Yes, you heard me right. Four thousand blocks. Look. Little SP thinks that this is some big massive project. Fam. Back in the day, this was uh, this was big to me, but now I'm way bigger. Look at that! It's already working. Now that yeah, the spawns, pigment is body, which is good. Me to put down my satellite pigment. I just put this yeah, guy come on, satellite pigment. This guy has been studying yeah. for years. He's literally. Thank how angry he is. It were I think I called him angry man, didn't I? If I break this, that's it. You stay there. You're that's not it. Coming. You you live there now. I'm also going to give him a name. <laughs> angry. <laughs> angry. <laughs> He's been there for so so many years. He's, he must be very sad He's going to be the pigment that makes sure all the other pigments stay angry. We've got a bad situation here. Oh, this is annoying. And he I realised I should be like placing day. the roofs I'm as I'm building. Some flying skills here. But, but basically, as I'm building, I realise if you ever see a gas, just fly at it with an axe. Get rid of it. There we go. <laughs> now, that's going to be a problem we're going to encounter. Yeah, well, look at that. Look at the mess it made. Problems of gas spawning will be over. See, if I, if I was in the rich... I was going to rich man. Um, if I was in the rich state that I am now, I would make some Frostwalker boots just to place all the magma because it was just annoying constantly taking damage. But And it, it uh, messes up your durability on your armor as well, doesn't it? You also it? need to put walls in these corners here so that the piglin path fine properly. And okay. at long last, <laughs> I have look finished that. the spawning platform. It's a very cool thing. The design is by Razeworks and it's a very, very good design. I made the spot where I will start. But this middle bit... I kind of freestyled it a little bit. I didn't really follow a tutorial. Or anything. I just did it in my head, and I, that was the bit that took the most testing to get right. And, and this is the area where the piglins will die. So we're going to put a little trap door there. We'll put a rail on there. And this is the reason that I needed so much iron because I then need to place 25 minecarts on this. I think the reason I freestyled it because the the original design had it so that it would pick up nuggets, but it wouldn't pick up ingots. Uh, the ingots would be given to a piglin, and the piglin would barter and, and put it into chests. So it was like, it was a, both a gold farm and a bartering farm. I was like, no, I just want the ingots. I don't want any bartering farm at this point. Um, so that is why I had to kind of freestyle the design. And because I was kind of inexperienced at the time, I, I, I messed it up quite a bit. <laughs> but I, in the end, I, it, it, worked. Well, it works pretty well now. This is all the minecarts I need. And this is where things could go wrong. I need to break that. Then break there we go. The Did I get it wrong? I think I got it wrong. Are you kidding me? So if I what? now break this block, place that go. there, they are all in there. And I think it is now done. The thing is, the, the worrying thing is, if I ever fall into that hole, I'll die. Because I'll get, I'll die of entity cramming in it and loads of damage. <laughs> I've got to be very, very careful about that. There's one or two times where I've nearly walked into it. Something wrong. I suppose there's only one way to find out. I'm going to go over here, punch this guy. All right, then Let's I'll like me. I feel like <laughs> this is going to go disastrously. see if it works. Oh, this is where it goes disastrously. I think I slightly messed up by not making the piglin hole deep enough. Yeah, this is a big mess. that block there. This is terrifying. They're climbing the ladder. Yeah, yeah, look. Oh, no <laughs> get up the I'm, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> look at that. They're all going straight. Okay, they are going in now. 
And now Look at I the XP. Just sit here and watch the XP flow in. You can XP. All the loot that I'm getting with this. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool they're very annoying. Grow the gold swords. And there we have it. I have now reached <laughs> level. Because of all the swords, my game is just lagging out. I, this, oh, is, 100. this is one hundred. This is a bit of a mess. This farm, but it was like the first big farm, farm ever made. Ever made. And the reason I chose this one over a guardian or an enderman farm is thanks to all the gold that I can get. Yeah, the gold is useful. Ladder, and I'm still going collecting XP. I have to say, it's great to finally be home. There's a there's a moment with the pigman farm. I nearly die. I think it's later in the video though. It was in the intro. Absolutely massive project, but it was well worth it. I, can now I feel so rich. Like I had all those emerald blocks. I'm like, yeah, I've got those emerald blocks. I got those gold blocks. Didn't 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 really. I mean, re in reality, it was, it was nothing compared to anything. Oh, we can upgrade the sword as well. Sword and some more thorns to my armor. Nice. Now I feel nearly, like one of the cool things, things I should out. do that I haven't done yet is a raid. Now, which village to raid? Do we raid that one or do we raid my hometown? There's the pillager outpost that we found last time. And here is a We're doing a raid. Captain. Excuse me, These sir, are, these are trickier raids, raids, you know. Put this in memory of you and I don't want that crossbow. I think I'm going to be risky and raid my hometown just because oh, these I really want to get hero of the village. So here we go. <laughs> the raid is beginning. Now, where are these guys coming from? That's it. Ring the bell. Emergency, guys. This is, a, this is not a drill. Okay, there they are. There's the boys. Here are the boys. In. No messing about. You get out of here. Okay, they do. Look at SB on his first ever first ever raid in his hardcore. Right, go any further with this. Yeah, I just forgot to put his chest, but a nice one, SB. Wow, those guys are packing a punch here. I've got to be careful. I feel seriously undergeared for this. I didn't get any gapples. I didn't have a bow, did I? Yeah, despite that. You need a bow. I have an infinity bow, though, I've made early. Good idea. You guys think you stand a chance? Whoa, the golems are actually struggling out. Gonna have to go and uh, help them out here. <laughs> you need Who to place them and just get rid of him. They're attacking. They've made it in. How did you guys even get yeah, in How did here? they get in? Leave my village oh, I think I know. I think they can there walk on. Go. Wave number two has been dealt with. Excuse me, sir. This I don't is an emergency. I need arrows. You don't sell them. We've no time to discuss specifics, but I've been very undergeared. Here's the rest Quick. of the wave. They don't see many of them, though. And he's dropped a crossbow. Did I get it? Did I get a bow? Oh, I've got a crossbow. Oh, that's going to be something, then. I'm just going to sleep mid raid. I've got to yeah, do it. the next wave starts. Let me quickly grab this bow. And get back Why is to it the in there? Yeah, the big boy. Oh, do I not come to carry an chest? Guys, back off. Okay, I need to get my chest plate on ASAP. There we go. No problem. At least I do have one totem, but I get quite a few from this, don't I? It's not doing that much damage, but it's getting the job done. They can't even see me through the sugar cane. Okay, maybe you can. That's it. I'm going in with this. A little strategy, you know? Sugar cane strategies. They're doing all sorts to my poor golem. I'll sort you out. That's it. Get out of it. Another totem. Mexes are the worst, though. I'm not. A bad timing for the wandering trader. It's all happening here. As usual, I'm struggling to locate the enemy. It's over here. Get him, golem. Look at that. Little little assist. It's like volleyball, that. Perfect. And, we did and there it. we go. We did, we, we did it. We are now. Okay. You gave, I bet you gave me tell if it's me talking or, or me from the past talk. We're both wearing black t-shirts as well. <laughs> We're interchangeable at the moment. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was a very successful. Uh, yeah, first raid. Did it. I'm very proud of myself. I'm. Uh, it was a tough. Uh, well, it's not. They're not easy raids. Look at the fireworks way. going off. It's brilliing. I didn't know the villagers did that. Look, they're all coming outside again. This they're has all been a to be great outside. day. You got some sweet deals for me now. Look at that. The prices have been slashed. We've got another four totems of undying. Yeah, Life that's good. Life is good, ladies and gentlemen. Life is very No chest room at this I point. I'm so glad I made the chest room. Like, I don't know if you know, but chest rooms are the worst. Like, I hate making storage for stuff. You can probably tell that I've never organised anything. But when I did make that chest room and finished it, I was so pleased that I could just chuck junk in and it would sort itself and yeah it feels so good to, to have one look at these guys they gave me some free stuff look at him, he's yeah they just throw things at you at I didn't know this at the time this is me learning a lot of things about Minecraft though like I was good at Minecraft before I started hardcore but I still learnt a lot on the job to fully max out my armor seems like you guys come on get your armor maxed out maybe this will jog your memory here they come completely forgot to bring an anvil Okay, I'll oh, I forgot right an anvil. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, level 50, though. Mining for iron. The way I see it, the sooner I get an iron golem farm, the better. Let's set all of this up. Yeah, iron golem farms are pretty easy as well, so. I don't know why I didn't make them earlier. Like, if, if, if I was going to do 100 days again, in the first 100 days, I would probably make. I'd definitely make an iron farm. I'd make a food farm, like a hoglin farm. Probably a gold farm. I'd, I'd make just loads of farms. I'd make a raid farm as soon as possible as well, because they are very, uh, very OP. Probably not like a super complicated one, but some sort of simple one I'd do. And get to work. What's that? I, I don't have enough levels. Just give me a moment. There we go. Just give me a moment. There you go. Anvil broke already. So it's take two going mining for... Oh, oh man. I didn't realise. Yeah, anvil's a break. Oh, we got a notch apple. Is that my first one? Say that was a pretty productive that, time mining. I don't know if that's my first one or not. Never have to go mining Could ever be. again. At least not... What did you say? <laughs> Hope you never have to go mining ever again.
Famous last words, there's to be very famous last for words. For iron, anyway. Maybe for diamonds, though. Couldn't work out why my game was so laggy. It turns out there's millions of swords. On yeah, the, the, the farm is a little bit flawed. Be pretty... Because there's a glitch. It's not a glitch, I suppose, but it's an intended feature. But when a pigman uh, falls into the hole, it picks up the sword, or some of them can pick up the sword. Then when it dies, it drops the sword. And then another pigman comes in and picks it up. And then when it dies, it drops the sword. So every time it picks up the sword and then drops it, it resets the, the despawn counter for the item. So all the swords in there never despawn but the way I, the way i fixed it was i just have it so that the swords would get dragged out into fire and then push back like it, 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 it why do i keep hitting my microphone but yeah it, it works itself out anyway let's turn this all into gold blocks. look at me yes, we have 60, 60 gold, gold blocks gold. and do we know what i did with those 60 gold blocks i know what i did you guys can't remember can you i bet you can craft a couple of anvils place that there make one of these guys angry and get back to work are you kidding me i can't even put thorns three on this. yeah i didn't learn the effective way to put books onto armor until a bit later yeah because it, 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 if you do it in the wrong way you, you get screwed over so annoying i'll sort that out later so i almost have fully maxed armor so i, I couldn't max my armor i think gold. i did by the end of the episode yeah, no. though right this will go nicely with my other 32 blocks of gold we have over 100 blocks of gold now after 140 days i've decided it's finally time i made an enchantment table well I, i'm making the room for it right <laughs> i'm a bit dangerously close to the edge of a mountain here does change my plans with the design slightly. Turns out I have another 30 gold blocks in this chest as well. Are they from Mas Again, Boston's maybe? Stone these boots. I know it's pretty Ball basic, boots. but I feel like this will do for now. I will eventually improve it at some Yeah, point. so I used the gold blocks for the room. You guys probably knew that. Know. With them breaking and prop 4, yeah, I can definitely max it out now. This I think time, I can. there'll be no trouble enchanting all of this. That gives me mending. This now gives me... All Although all of this armor I don't use anymore because I, I made the ultimate armor, didn't I? So yeah, it's, it's all gone now. Most. Max armor, there's one thing I need to do, and that is to sit and trade with these fellas until I get soul speed. Ah, yeah, that needs, uh, that's the only oh thing. My Whoa! I almost died to a piglin. I don't know. I, you might almost <laughs> still die, Spade. You won't accept the gold. So, this What's is back in the days when I cared enough to. to do, well, not that I don't care. When I was a bit more worried about dying, so I brought the nut chapels with me everywhere. Now I just feel like I'm, un, I'm unkillable, so I never, <laughs> never carry nut chapels. Leave me alone. It's a good thing I have plenty of totems lying around. All right, fellas. Christmas has come early. Finally, I got soul speed three. You guys have taken forever. It took a long time, I remember. I that was not that hard. I think it's got a bathroom farm. Make this easier to find stuff. Yeah, that's definitely looking much. Oh, looking very good. I really like this broom room. Now, One of my favourite rooms. Here. Put the soul speed. No. You gotta be kidding me. Well, <laughs> back to the grindstone they go. Oh my goodness! I just got it straight away. I was about to say. I, I think it's because I combined two thorns, two books together to put it on, rather than went straight for uh, thorns three, which is why it was too expensive. I also didn't do it efficiently. You meant to combine the books in a pyramid s s scheme, pyramid fashion, and then put it on the boots not put each one one by one onto the boots. That's where you run out of uh, things. <laughs> run out of uh, levels for it. three, and he literally gave it to me. Oh, I don't even have a book. Do not change your trade. I need that. I was about to say, I'm dedicating Dude. way too much time to getting max armor. But Where's the books? I need to do this. There we yeah, go. max armor, 100% is great. Before I was combining two thorns, two books, which was just adding it up too much. Yeah, for the feather falling, we'll take that. Deb Strider, thank you. This time, <laughs> Matt, I times have had to buy them all. Come on in. On my boots. Yeah, you see, I'm doing one by one. That's the mistake I'm making. <laughs> Give me a moment. It has been achieved. I have completely, well and truly, maxed out my armor. Or so he thought. At the time, he thought he'd maxed it out. But no, I, I didn't get the true max, which is, you know, possible with a, uh, a one point, bit of 1.14 mad uh, trickery. And now I have only one goal, albeit a very simple one. And that is to get one of the greatest music discs ever, Pig Step. Did I not have Pig Step yet? SP737, what are you playing at? You haven't got pig steps. I just realised I, I forgot to get food. Also, in the last video, some people said I went into creative because I managed to get a stack. Oh, I remember addressing this in the last thing, yeah. SP77 cheats because he got a stack of blaze rod. Only an idiot would think that. And I, I don't... I, I, if you're one of the people that said that, you are an idiot. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't, don't look at me like that. But yeah, it's not hard with looting 3 to get a stack of blaze rod. Trust me of blaze rods and i'm going to assume that the people that said that have never used a looting three sword on a blaze corner look at how many blaze rods you get from a at least i wasn't that savage back then to call you guys idiots like <laughs> well you know i was, uh, didn't want to upset anybody at the time but uh, you know the people that thought that probably aren't watching this video right right if there is somebody that thought i was i cheated because i got a stack of blaze rods comment down below and let me know and i will uh Apologise for calling you an idiot, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Blake, look, I just got three. That easy. Another three there. It's too Inexperience easy, so is the better word, not an idiot. I'm not going to sit here and get more. I've got more important things. To do. Yeah, you got 13 just worry, instantly I do there. Read the comments when you say something. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm always, I, I still read comments. I don't, I, I don't reply to them obviously because they take too long. But I, I'm always reading comments. So you know, if you have something to say, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. No, not today. I might as well take the lodestone though. Finally, I have. Have we got it? So many, and I have finally found it. 
It's not that rare, but it's Once it's, again, it's good to have. Steal more gold. And that, to me, is a job well done. Well done, I then SP. proceed to spend the next three days sitting and getting loads and loads of XP. All right, I get 100 levels. 169. Yeah, nice. Something else. And yes, these videos take so long to make that I've even trimmed my beard. <laughs> yeah, a little shave, SP, yeah. One of the most important things Very on your nice. mind right now is what am I going to name my dog? I spent the last 50 days and he's he still got no name. So thanks Poor so much fella. for all the ideas you had. I've decided Buddy to the dog. With Buddy. He's they been with us for a long time. He's got a family now. And he lives in a kennel outside. I think it'd be a good idea to do is to make a compass and then place this lodestone right here. I think if I then right click it, yeah, look at that. In the nether, we will be able to find this portal much easier. And now for my next project, I want to find a trident. So to do that, I'm do not get. I do not have a trident yet. Tell you what. This was way harder than I thought it was going to be because I didn't understand the mob spawning mechanics properly at the time. So so now I could probably do it a bit faster. But yeah, I didn't realise. Uh, how, uh, yeah, tridents are very, very rare, very annoying to find. I have what I look for. There we go. So let's just take so I, I think I didn't realise that they had to be holding it to drop Remember it. How many of these guys you actually have to take out to get what you're looking for? Because I, I think on bedrock at the time, or, or when I got a trident on bedrock, uh, you, they didn't have to be holding it to drop it. Anyone could could have it, but on Java they had to be holding it. I think that was the difference. Now I think they're both Get the same. Feeling like it's going to take a while. I also had no idea how fast Depth Strider with Dolphin's Grace is. The it's very fast. Keep up. I decided it's best to put that idea on the back burner. <laughs> I, Look at me. I tried for like a, a couple of Minecraft days. And I was like. Nah, this isn't going to work. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> It'd be quite so difficult to get a trident. So I'm going to do some experimentation. At some point, create a trident farm that's going to let me get millions. I think I think trident farm was the best idea I had. Yeah, I, I think I got trident farm in the next episode. Or maybe a bit later on. Who knows? There's millions of them. Well, I, 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 I guess you guys probably know better than me. I'm going to make a bunch of eyes of ender. Then four end crystals. Oh, are we trader. respawning the ender dragon? So let's make four ender chests. I'm going to grab lots of wood and lots of wool. I could also do with a bit more gunpowder. <laughs> I'm have interested. What am I doing? Gunpowder. That should be plenty. That's going to give me a load more firework rockets. To be honest, the way I see oh, it, oh, I'm going to one cycle the Ender Dragon. The better. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but my uh, my music disc collection is growing. Yeah, it's growing bit by bit. I've got every single one now. Then I'm going to go down this little hole here. Look at a little, little MLG. Good idea to just build a portal here, and then I can just go through the Nether to get to the stronghold. Let's board up this. And I can build oh, this is the origin of this portal. Still used to this day. Yes, it does. Although I don't come to this stronghold like my. Transform stronghold room, portal room, is actually a different stronghold because uh, this one has quite a few farms at it. Uh, does this one right, right now? Whereas the other one, I, I didn't want, yeah, I didn't want to be too close to one that was, yeah, I wanted to do it like a fresh one basically. I always carry the essentials. And then I always carry the essentials, I speak. Not even, not even got the, uh, port, which... oh man. Wait, this isn't going to work, is it? That's not good. So now in a big waste of time, I've got to fly back to the stronghold. <laughs> oh dear, they didn't link properly. This. So the first plan is to rebirth Here we the go. dragon. Here we go. There we go. There it's it is. Whilst that does that, I'm going to craft a bunch of beds, place some obsidian right here. And now we simply wait for the dragon to perch. Whilst I'm up here, I can actually shoot the towers. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, SP, one cycle. There we go. Okay, I'm going to end them in I haven't done the one cycle in ages, but in this, I, I was sure. pretty good at it. Be able to finish it. Oh, okay. Come on, SP. We missed, we missed it, but we can finish her off. You and messed it up. You're useless. <laughs> I didn't even do the one cycle. What a plunker I am. Gateway has been opened. But yeah, what did you do in Gateway? To find shulker shells. Because over time, I've realised that shulker boxes are so, so useful. Yeah, do I not have any shulker boxes at this point? Because yeah, that... They are the meta. Shulker boxes are so useful. Here's my first one of the day. Let's find the shulkers. You also get very good. And I have looting now, so I think it's better. Very small in city. I only got two. Let's keep searching. Now this one looks much. Yeah, it's more like it. Always the way to go with these guys, because then you can get them into. Yeah, bowing offhand is is the way to do it. But obviously you don't want to die. Elytra and of course the dragon head. Dropper. At least it's not in the void. Grab this one last shulker shell. That's 18 now. I've got that's more than enough. Grab the dragon head. 18 shulker shells. Wow, that, I, I, I got I carried away. Look how nice that chest looks, by the way. Everything looks so organized. When it, I got a lot of ender pearls by then, didn't I? Yeah, it looks very organized, very nice, but obviously I'm in the chest rooms way better now. Like but... a few extra dragon heads. It's unusually organized for me. I think it's finally time I tackled the auto storage for my gold farm. So I could go mining for redstone. Ah, I could support the economy and buy it off a of village. I'm a big very believer very in supporting the economy. A few repeaters. So I, this is where I tried to do some redstone again, making the auto storage. I mean, I was pretty good at auto storage. I'd done it a lot uh, in my Xbox world in the past, but I'd never done it in... Uh, <laughs> in Java, so I think I struggled a little bit at the time. I'm also going to need to mine up a bit of quartz so that I can make a bunch of comparators. And thankfully, the pigmen aren't angry at me right now, so I can do some work. Because there's a few different ways to do an auto storage. There's one way where you cannot break it, like, a, a, yeah, an unbreakable way. Then there's a breakable way. Well, I did it the breakable way for this. Um, yeah, which uh, it's still the breakable way to this day, whereas any new auto storage I make, I make it so it's unbreakable. 
Um, just buy the item distribution and right. stuff that I've successfully can do. got rid of a load of the junk from all these chests. Just need to empty these two here. I realised it was just quicker and easier to break these ones as well. So <laughs> all the items everywhere. Get rid of all the gold swords. And this is where I'm going to place the comparators with some hoppers going into them. Then yeah, I like some it. Double chests at the bottom with hoppers going in to them. There needs to be torches underneath these hoppers. Look at the concentration on my face. The torches, blocks along here. Finally, a bunch of redstone all up here. And now it's done. Theory, this should work. I don't think it worked. So I, I think I did something wrong and it, it broke. I want to sort. Unfortunately, I <laughs> threw my rotten flesh away. I think I'm going to get some. Never mind, it's uh, it's all despawned. I've got to place this dropper upside down, which is kind of important. This little contraption should eject things down every time I put a, an item in. There we go. Hey, it does it work? I'm also going to descend it actually works. temporarily until I get enough rotten flesh. And so now we test it out. Make them angry. Guys, I, I made a big mistake here. Okay, I just got to get out of it. That, it, that was a bit <laughs> What of did a... I do? I didn't oh, they could all walk on there. I made a new platform. They were all walking on there and able to get to me. You plunker SB737. Okay. There and come Nearly died yeah, there. I was a bit of an idiot in that situation. I'm just going to pop home and get another totem of undying. Let's grab that. No harm done. Yeah, so at this point, I'm still not ender chest man, am I? I, yeah, I've not, uh, not done that. And it's nice to see it snowing for a change. And that, and, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, yeah. is... I don't know if you knew, but back then there was a glitch where it would never... Every, if you slept, then it would reset the weather cycle every single time um, back to like zero or whatever. So that it, it would basically never... If you slept every night, it would never snow or rain or whatever. But then they fixed it so that sleeping doesn't reset the weather cycle. Um, except if you sleep while it's raining, then obviously uh, it, it will change the rain back to be clear. Um, that's the only time it would reset it as such. But well, yeah, you always they, they carry a totem of undying. That's why I always carry a totem. Very true. Now, I'm going to need a bunch more slabs. And then I need to cover this area up. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. really safety proof the area. I that think it's safety proof. That should in theory mean no more mishaps. And now I'm letting all the items filter through. And they are filling up the chests. Is it There's working? A slight problem with the machine. So I just need to move this all over one block. <laughs> Did I really? Over there. Place a new one there. Put that like that. There we go. Now it will work perfectly. Are you sure? Take two. Hopefully I don't have to use I don't think so. I think it's still a bit you broken. Can see the swords oh, they're going in. Thrown out. These chests are being filled up nicely. I need some lava there. Yeah. OCD. <laughs> the world of good. I then spent another few days sitting in this farm to get to level 200. Nearly two stacks level of gold 200 SB, you look at you. Pretty happy with that. My goal was to get to like level 1000, I've never done it. I've never had the time. Because I could, I mean, I could easily do it if I just sat AFK for like 20 days, but who wants to do that? So instead, I, yeah, but at some point I want to get to 2000, no, get to level 1000, which I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do eventually. Like something I haven't done yet that would definitely be a good idea is to craft a jukebox and place it down. Oh, we got, can I play pig step? Now I can listen to pig step. If I was playing Minecraft without recording, I would just have that playing in the background. It truly is such a good sound. So for my latest send out, got it in the background. Going so the, the, on this video, I got so many comments made of SP, of people like, SP, you know Pigstep is copyrighted. Let's just make this clear. Pigstep is not copyrighted because I did not get a copyright claim on it. And uh, yeah, g uh, game developers never ever copyright songs from their games because they know that people play them on YouTube, play their games on YouTube, which gives them free promotion. So, I mean, Nintendo used to copyright their music. Um, but now they don't mind people playing their games, so it doesn't really work for yeah, game developers to copyright the music on YouTube. So you you can use Pigstep Fine in the back of the video, you won't get a copyright claim. Just like you can use Sonic music in the background, you can use Nintendo music in the background. Like you won't get claims because they're from the games. Um, so that is, that's just a little thing that I should say because loads of people commented like, "SP, you can't use Pigstep, you'll get a copyright claim." Well, ha, I know I did not. Desert. And that's because I'm always sick of never having and it, any it, sand. And it's a beautiful song. I've to get my shovel and fill an entire shulker box with sand. Oh, look I'm at you. up an entire shulker box, I got a little carried away and decided to do an extra chest as well. Yeah, good idea. Too right. This is the other shulker box full of sand. We've got that. I don't know what I'm going to use all this sand for right now, but it will come in handy. One of the things that I'd like to build in here is going to be a nether wart farm. Oh, go this is the origin of the nether wart farm. Netherrack. I'm going to place a couple of chests here. Hoppers wrapping all the... Look at me, I'm, I'm becoming a real so farmer already. Floor, and then all the rest of this can be nether. I, th I like the design of it. I think I have red nether brick in here as well, don't I? Now is that the roof? Nether bricks are ready. Let's craft them into blocks. And finish building this roof. I feel like adding stairs around the edge could be quite a nice effect. Okay. Now I'm going to begin planting this nether wart. And to speed things up, I'm going to go to my trusty supply of bone meal. Which apparently doesn't work on nether wart. I'm sure it used I'm to. sure. Back in the day, it used to be able to bone meal nether wart. I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure of it. You know what, I, I, I might even Google it. Never mind, I, I couldn't find any on it. I, I probably just dreamt it. Let's, let's carry on watching. That sand that I got before. I can make a bunch of smooth sandstone and finish this Ooh. part of the building. I finally finished this yeah. room. Nice. Looking pretty good. Can't really do Very much good. more of this room until these nether wart grow. So in the morning, it makes sense to work on something else. 
What are we going to work on, SP? Gold blocks. And I'm simply going to fill all of these. Oh, did I not finish this yet? Last video, I had unlimited emeralds. I, I was pretty this good at finishing I've projects back then. Now I have loads of projects and it's finishing. I don't know what I'm going to be getting unlimited of in the next video. These are now starting to be fully grown. I don't know if fortune gives me more. I think it does. It does, yeah, it does. It's going to be something worth remembering. Worth and using. Now it's time we crafted a bunch of dispensers. So I made that nether wart farm. Here. And then I'm, I didn't make a new nether wart farm for another like 4,000. 300 days in uh, uh, yeah well in the 4400 days video i made a new nether wart farm so I, the other one the trusty nether wart farm i kept for a long long time i'm gonna make a polished blackstone button and put it on there actually i need to change this to a redstone lamp yeah the go. pulse one goes through otherwise redstone all the way around here put repeaters going into each dispenser look at me look at me a redstone was I, I hate to wake you up but i really need this redstone and now yeah, this should be sell me the redstone operational. We'll also need to put all of these water buckets in. And whilst I wait for all these to grow, I'm going mining for redstone. Because I'm getting tired of constantly running out. The good thing about redstone is it's very, very easy to find. Oh, three, look, this, oh, this is the old textures as well, because it's back in 1.16. Yeah, I was like, redstone don't look like that, but it did. well, back in the day it did. 30, it's so much better. I think now that I'm used to it, I prefer the old, new old textures so much, but... It was weird at the time when they changed on it, but but now like that, I think they're, they're definitely better. Grab any lapis that I see with my fortune. Wasn't even looking for. It's them. like it's like nobody likes change, but when you actually have the change happen, you're like, ah, oh, you know, what? I I prefer the the, the new one after all. <laughs> yeah, change is coming for the better. Working down here. That's nine in total. I'm pretty happy with that. Nice SP. Nine diamonds. This has definitely diamonds. been a nice top up. I generally like to store lapis in this chest here, <laughs> in the enchantment room. I never use, but looks amazing. And I get the feeling it is like true. I'm I never use it. a redstone anytime soon. I think it's about time. You think that is B, but you know that's that's nice. nothing. No, that's the second creeper that's blown up in here in the same video. My goodness, I'm just trying to make a room look nice. Did I finish this room? I wonder if I did, actually. I reckon I did. Are you kidding me? I try to do something nice for the villagers, and of course it goes wrong. Normally, wrong. I'm never happy to see this guy, but this one is offering me gunpowder. I, I got, like, like no gunpowder from it, though, did I? I didn't realise that these guys would always despawn no matter what as well. So I think, uh, I, think I lost him. I'm going to take out the lava. Give me murder. Evil, I know, but needs must. There's still quite a lot of work to do, but this is the progress so far. I like it. I like this room. It looks way, way It does better. look way better. You did a good job, SP. They're not all fully grown yet, but I'm going to press this button anyway, and just to check that it all works properly. Well, that went well, didn't it? Because <laughs> it didn't work. I just need to add a repeater right away. Yeah, I didn't have enough. Now we can go uh, for take two works. and see what happens. There we Look go. The farm's the working like a charm. And we can grab all these and start planting again. And this means I can finally begin work on this last bit uh, of yeah, the roof. I remember you know, red nether brick just being an absolute pain to, to make because getting those nether wart at the time was a bit of a bit of a challenge, really. Craft red nether brick, you need two nether wart, two nether bricks, and you put it like that. I've now finished all of this area. Would have been much more efficient for me to turn those red nether bricks into slabs and place slabs down because you wouldn't have noticed that they weren't slabs. Yeah, that would... Uh, hindsight is a, is a beautiful thing. I'm going to release this fella back out. Come on, mate. You you come on out of here. I'm going to kill him with my thorns. That's it. Now that, now that we've... No, he died. <laughs> oh, he, he died. My thorns was and too powerful. And this side randomly despawned. So unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to get two of those guys at some point. And at long last, I'm tying up this massive mess that's been here for ages. If yeah, I let's make the, the veins look nicer. So, so this entire thing, this is this is the episode where I made it look much better. There. It now looks good. It's all nicely covered up. I like it. I'm going to build a soul speed tunnel from my house to the village. Oh, did I make this as well? This took a a lot of work as well. Soul sundown. And there we have it. But my I like high it. speed tunnel is now complete. I feel like I, this is I, one of those things that's really cool, but I'm just never going to use it. I'm just going to be flying with my Elytra, but... No, 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 I tell you what, it still gets used. It, wait, what's going on here? Is it is this beat? What? What? No. Oh, I, I must have been AFK in a creep. Look at it. This is, this is one of those um, moments before disaster things. I was in my inventory, creeper right next to me, about to blub. I don't think he pops a totem, but very annoying. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something else. And then, yeah, flipping creepers spawns out of nowhere. So annoying. I see, it's not in the worst place, though. Else, and the creeper just walked up and blew... Oh, this is why I should have lit it up, shouldn't I? Yeah. I've got blackstone now, but I've chiseled it all out at least. I'll finish it at a later date. I can now finally finish it. Yeah, getting blackstone used used to be annoying as well, but it's all right now. I've decided I've had enough of building. I'm going off on an adventure somewhere. Here's something I want to test. If I grab myself a lead and then attach one of these dolphins, does it keep up with me? I think it does. This It keeps up for a bit, but then sometimes the it, it Next disconnects. Next time I seriously go looking for tridents, this is how I'm doing it. This is the best way to find drowns. 100%. Something I quite like to find is a swamp biome because I've yet to get any slime balls. Now, a little of the SP know that there's one very close to his house. He just went the wrong on way. On a monument, even though I have loads and loads of gold, I might as well get more. 
And when you, you have Depth well. Strider and Aqua Affinity, it's super easy. I don't really have much use for pumpkins, but I found some, so I might... Yeah, grab them when you, if you, you see them, get them. The thing I'm bothered about in this village is all the hay bales. It's a shame I don't keep my netherite hoe in the end of Because I still, I've not really got a very good wheat farm. I mean, I have a villager working away getting me the wheat, but other than that, I don't really tend to get get much uh, much wheat. So hay bales is very useful in villages. That would have been very useful. To now, this day. Rich, I might as well make another diamond one. And here's another village whose wheat I'm going to steal. And finally, yeah, steal I have found a swamp. And I don't I'm think it's really that far from where I live. It would be amazing if I could I think find I'm like. Uh, diagonally away from my house, like 2,000, 2,000? No, something like that. I, I have a rough idea where I might be. Swamp hut and then it could make could a be wrong. out of it, but I don't think there's one here. It has to be said, this is being an extremely successful night. I'm getting lots of gunpowder, lots of slime balls. Well, with get, the get it all. Rising, I am more than happy with that. Do I make a gunpowder farm in this okay, video? Maybe in the next episode probably, I make one. will make a slime farm, but three stacks of slime is pretty good. We yeah, that's good. We've got 43 gunpowder. We'll take that. We'll make a gunpowder. Back then I didn't think I'd need much slime either, you know. You, little do you know that you're going to create some things that need, uh, need all this stuff. Well at some point, but... I'm really happy with that. My armory's starting to get a bit broken. My tools a little bit broken. So I think it's time for a trip to the XP farm. Yeah, I spent a lot more days sat at the XP farm getting to level 250. The goal is level 2000, guys. We've got a long way to go, but... The goal was level 2000? Well, I'm sorry to say you, but after uh, over a year, you're not even close. <laughs> I think I'm at about 260 or something. I, I constantly go up and down because I use levels all the time. So as I was saying, honey blocks are going to be useful. I've got loads of slime for slime blocks. We can make some really cool creations. And we will make some very cool contraptions. Find a few Just extra not for a bit. Aha! Now this is going to be very, very useful. I won't be building the farm out of this in this video, but at some point in the yeah, future... Yeah, so I, I always had the plan big. to build, uh, using the swamp hut, build the farm, and then it, it would be great. But... Uh, I realise that raid farms just get you uh, drops faster, the same drops faster, so there's never any point for me to actually build one, and especially when 1.18 uh, came out and the world height changed, like it made the swamp hut farms even less efficient and raid farms even better. So yeah, that's that's why I've never uh, <laughs> never done it. Used to use that. This is a pretty nice find, a mesa biome, and we have a mine shaft here. Look oh, is this is this where I nearly died? Dangerous, I think it's where I nearly died. Isn't it? The best thing about mesa is you can get a lot of gold from here, but. <laughs> Do I look like I need gold? I don't need gold. We don't just go mining for gold. It's just about out of nowhere. Whoa. Just completely. I just me. had a creeper land on now me. Now that's why. See, if I'd been wearing my chest plate, it would have been all right. But yeah, without an elytra, you're, you're uh, well, with an elytra. I think. With an elytra. I think. I think though, with my my current armor now that I I got, you know, the ultimate armor because it has blast protection. I think it, it adds up enough that I wouldn't have died. I, I wouldn't have used my totem there, um, even without wearing the chest plate. I think that's that's. The case. I got a bit Because people say me that the ultra armor, armor is useless, but it, it does slightly improve uh, yeah, things like that. There's plenty more totems available. <laughs> there's a few totems, maybe not that many. Probably wear a chest plate if I'm not flying. Yeah, yeah good the idea. The thing about these mine shafts is the hope that I might find a not chapel. Other than that, I don't really have any use for them. Yeah, not chapels are pretty, um, a pretty. Pretty rare in mines, like like yeah. But if you're gonna search for not chapels, you go desert primitives. You don't go mine shafts, you know. So I I don't even bother checking them now, really. May, if I see like a chest, a minecart chest out in the open, I'll go and get it. But I don't bother really exploring them because the percentage chance of finding a not chapel is so low in the mine shaft. Gold here and a regular gold apple, which I guess is okay. Might as well steal some more hay bales whilst I've got them. Get the hey, wait. I should make a decent wheat farm. Begins. Oh, also, wait, is this a mistake then? This bit, I think I think this bit's a mistake, right? Uh, there's been times where when I say the day counter like every time I, a new day dawns I say the day counter to my editor so that they can update the day counter it goes on to the next one But I think here it got left in hey, might as well steal some more hay bales whilst I've got them day 192 begins Oh, I'm so sorry. These are oh, no, maybe actually no, it was intentional. It was intentional. Okay. Uh, never mind I, 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 I forgot about this so there has been times where it has been left in by mistake, but like my editor will go through this, and then uh, these the, these ones, uh, I would do the music as well, and like check the video completely. So it wouldn't have snuck past me as well. Like it wouldn't have snuck past both as the mistake. Um, but no, we left it in because um, it's quite funny. It's I'll steal some more hay bales whilst I've got them. Day one hundred and ninety-two begins. Oh, I'm like, I went to mind my bed, and as I was mind my bed, the villager walked in front of me. I just punched him. So. <laughs> yeah, it, it was intense. It's pretty rare. It's an infected village. Look at this. They're just infected. all infected. Okay, well, they're they're kind of a waste of time anyway, though, aren't they, really? As the sun sets, here we are. Home, home sweet, sweet home. home. Yeah, like nice to be quite nice for this village to have some bees. Oh, I put around. bees. I so I, I, think, make... I think the nests are still around in the in the village, but all the bees disappeared or despawned, I, I think. Or maybe a lot of the houses are gone as well, I can't farm, But for now, I think this will do. And now that I've got four and a half stacks of hay, I can make lots and lots is this of the Is this the villager breeding art? And that will lead to lots and lots of baby villagers. Would you look at this? I need these fellas and they've just turned up. Oh, no, they're going to die again. Get out of there, should be. I'm gonna call these guys the doctors, just not to intimidate anyone. I'm gonna play a risky game and not wear. Because the ladders, the ladders need to go, don't they? Right, that needs to go. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, did I put my armor? SB, what are you doing? SB, okay. what, no, no, what are you trying? <laughs> you can't put your armor. That's it, I just had to fight back. That was actually a. I've had a few near misses in this episode. Uh, at least I got him in there. Man, I'm going through these totems like nobody's business today. Yeah, not kidding. Let's put this on him. There we go. One of the doctors. Just the sort of fellas I'm looking for. Yeah, we get some guys. more. Put him in. Just bring him round here. The doctors are in. I'm All sorted. Back He's back Happy in there. days. These guys, they're slowly bringing their prices up. Well, that's inflation for you. You know what I think to that? Get down there. But there's yeah, three right. more totems. These can go in the ender chest. I think it's time I made a furnish room. I decide it's time to tighten up security on this. So what is it time for, SP? A furnish room or tightening up security? Village. So I'm going to spawn in some angles. <laughs> oh, make a gold instead. Do these guys actually attack me if I hit them? I don't think... Uh, no, I don't and think they do. You did a great job already. Let's see. I hit him. Oh, these guys don't care. There we go. It's only yeah, the naturally spawned ones do. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, uh, the ones you spawn, All right, villagers, they won't hurt you. Feel safe now. You never will. To be honest, I, was, I used up all my iron, and uh, I, I, I don't know why. I, I, I went overkill on the golems, and then, yeah, didn't have any iron left for anything else. It's time I gathered up these furnaces, although I do actually need to use a furnace to get the smooth stone. Whilst I wait for that to Oh, start, I'm making... Okay, I'm, so I'm, craft, I'm making the furnace room now. So this is all the furnaces I made. All my blast furnaces, and begin building. So we're going to put these right This is here. one of those rooms where... In my head, the design was going to be really cool, but in practice, when it came out, I was like, uh, maybe it, it wasn't quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Because on the opposite side, and finally, eight normal ones in this section. I feel like making the floor out of coal boxes. Yeah, I like the, the floor's good. good. Already, this place is being put to use. I'm not entirely sure how this next bit's going to work, but I just know I need a lot of lava. Yeah, it's been maybe not your best design. Although, it has it's grown on me as this room. I kind of like it now. Right, all I have to do is just keep By the time, I was, I was, especially, I was like, well, mm, maybe this wasn't as good as an idea. I'm all out with the design and, and go for a real right, like, as it... It is with that on just one wall it looks really good i think but when it's all the walls less isn't always more yeah, I think. I less isn't like always it. more now i've just got to do the same for the rest of the place this is one of those designs that now that i've built it, I'm <laughs> it looks weird idea, now doesn't it i think i've got to do a lava roof as well and i also get the roof down the black stone bricks that should be more than enough for now also fancy taking these chains and we're gonna put the them to use those now chains eh? these walls in now i need to just tactically place lava all around here and everything Okay, well that didn't work. My best bet is to just place the lava here and see if it covers all the. There's like I think there's just a couple of gaps. Yeah. Spots just will not work. Let's put that. There we go. Okay. Oh, we've sprung a leak now. <laughs> on top of there. Um, we've sprung a bigger leak. Come on, SP, get it plugged up. Not very good at this. Yeah, we have it chopped up. The room's complete. Room. You know what? Yeah, I, I do like Best it now though. It has grown on me. Really bring it to life. I can hang some chains with lanterns. I I think those lanterns are too low. Did I make them higher? I hope I did. Finish the black stone along here. Then I'm gonna light the area up so we don't have any mishaps down here. Let's harvest all the nether wart. Look at that. Working like a charm. Actually, Fantastic. It's a very handy thing that I've built now. I don't know where it came from, but this guy pulled out a sword. Let's sort these fellas yeah, out. Get them all, uh, Time all to get some sleep, up. and then I can begin day 200. There you go. I've I'm survived 200 days. So many villagers. They're all these no, beds villagers right. everywhere. It has to be said once again that so much has happened in these 100 And then I think days. this is a recap. I, 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 for like the first two or three episodes, I did recaps, and then I realized that people just click off the video on a recap, so I ain't going to bother with that. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was 200 days in hardcore Minecraft.